why sugar is high without eating sugar. Hello and welcome to Sugar MD channel. Did you know that hormonal fluctuations and some metabolic processes can play tricks on us and ca can cause some pesky high glucose levels in the morning or even all day long? Talk about starting the day on a sugar coated roller coaster. So your blood sugar goes even higher and you're totally perplexed and confused as the day goes by. It's not going to be a physiology lecture here, I promise, but I will make it easier for you to understand. Now, let's dive into that intriguing world of gluconeogenesis. In lay terms, your liver making too much sugar. Imagine your liver going all very productive and producing glucose from non-carb sources like even proteins, ketones, fats. It's like magic or maybe science. Who knows, right? Well, this process is regulated by insulin. And for people who does not have enough insulin or insulin resistant, then your liver will think that you need more and more glucose. Your insulin resistance will not change from a little bit of a fasting one or two day. So this process will not get better until you continue to fast and lose weight and exercise. And eventually, eventually, not in a day or two, because I hear people saying, hey, you know, I've been fasting. I did fast yesterday. My blood sugar went up. It's not going to happen in one day. So your insulin resistance will improve eventually. And then your blood glucose will go down as your liver becomes more insulin sensitive as time goes by. It may take weeks, if not months. But wait, there is more. Hormones, right? Like cortisol or the growth hormone. They also like to wreak havoc by causing high morning blood sugar mayhem. It's like they have a secret competition to see who can mess up our glucose levels between the cortisol and growth hormone. Now, insulin resistance often gets the blame for this unfriendly early morning surprise. But remember, morning hormones pushing glucose out of your liver can also result in high blood sugar levels. We call this dawn phenomenon. Most people without diabetes have a backup plan. They, they, they just produce more insulin, no problem. But for those with diabetes, it is more of a sticky situation. If you leave the dawn phenomenon unchecked, it can go from bad to worse, making insulin resistance go ouch. Your body's cells won't be too keen on the insulin available. High fasting glucose levels and metabolic struggles like obesity, type 2 diabetes, can tag along with unmanaged morning high sugar jinx. If you do not have a protein breakfast, for example, your glucose will continue to go up due to these hormones that go up early in the morning and they will persist until late morning. And the next one that we're going to talk about is the blowed artificial sweeteners. Now, don't fret, my friend. If you are dealing with elevated blood sugar levels, it is time to take a closer look at your diet. Yes, I am talking about those sneaky artificial sweeteners like Splenda. It may promise zero calories, but let's say it is not as sweet as it seems. Research suggests that artificial sweeteners can still mess with our body's insulin sensitivity and glucose tolerance. So even if you don't see an immediate sugar rush after consuming some Splenda laden treat, the long-term effects might not be as delightful as expected. So keep an eye on those hidden sugar traps. Now let's talk about more on the role of insulin in blood sugar regulation. Let's give a shout out to insulin, the superhero hormone that keeps blood sugar under control and sends glucose into cells for an energy burst. It's all about preventing glucomania. It's not the insulin's fault, the liver's villainous plot to create glucose from proteins and fat due to insulin resistance. 
Now let's talk about how insulin work. Everybody blames insulin, insulin, but let's talk about this. In healthy individuals, insulin production and release are like synchronized dancers to keep blood sugar levels in the spotlight. So some insulin is necessary, absolutely. So we cannot just blame the insulin. Too much of insulin is not a good thing. After you munch down some carbs, well, they get broken down into glucose, they enter your bloodstream, but don't worry, your body has a secret weapon called insulin to guide this glucose into cells throughout the body. Like I said, some insulin is absolutely necessary to get this job done. Even if you are on a fully keto or fully protein diet, your body needs insulin. Without any insulin, we are all going into coma. If there is extra glucose in need of a hiding spot, insulin will stash it away in your liver for future use. Well, thanks to insulin's smooth moves, your blood sugar levels, especially post meals, keep their cool and stay in the sweet spot thanks to insulin. However, and by the way, when you eat protein, your insulin goes up too, just less, not as much as carbs. Now, when you have insulin resistance due to excessive fatty acids circulating in your blood from obesity or visceral fat, which is the fat around your organs, insulin will not be able to have these smooth moves. It's like a clogged up streets. You cannot drive through it. A fasting blood sugar level, what is the good one? Between 70 and 120 milligram per deciliter is the bee's knees. But wait, there's more. If your morning readings are consistently above this range, it is time to ring the alarm bells. These sugar levels might indicate a problem with insulin regulation or other sneaky health issues like the dawn phenomenon, like we discussed. Yikes. But don't worry, my sweet toothed friends. I know some of you are. Now, elevated fasting blood sugar levels could lead to long-term complications. We know that like nerve damage, kidney disease, heart problems, most of you actually have it without knowing it because your doctor doesn't tell you and then you think that you're all fine. It is time to buckle up and maintain those blood sugar levels to keep your health in check. Now, do not forget to take the benfotiamine alpha lipoic acid as a protection. And you know how to get them, right? You just have to go to sugarmds.com now. Now, while you are at it, I would say grab yourself some Sugar MD Gluco Defense and Super Berberine. These could be your secret weapons in this sugar filled battle. And guess what? We have got videos, we have got books to guide you through this sugary journey. Just head on over to sugarmds.com for all your sugar wrestling needs. Remember, folks, we are in this together. Let's conquer those high morning blood sugar levels and high daytime numbers and take control of our sweet lives. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.